Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missy Knows Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to show you a robot and a program that can push cups off of a table without the robot falling off the table. Kind of like Vex VR Castle Crashers, if you're ever doing that. So if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So with everybody, well, not everybody, but with a lot of people doing robotics online, uh, we're doing VEX VR, and one of my projects for my students is Castle Crashers. If you've not seen it before, it's where the robot needs to be able to knock building blocks off of a table without the robot falling off. Let me let you see that. thought, hey, if my students are doing that, you know, why not make an EV3 robot can do that? So I'm going to show you a robot and how I built it so it's able to use a color sensor, actually two color sensors, and an ultrasonic sensor to be able to push off cups off of a table no matter where you put them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the robot first. Okay, so here is my cup pushing off the table robot here. And let me go ahead and give you some of the details of the design. Um, the reason I have two color sensors here is because, take a look, if I'm coming at an angle and pushing it like this, I do not want just a color sensor right here. Because if you notice, by the time that sees, you know, nothing in the, you know, as far as the program, it will be off the table by the time that I do that. So the two color sensors are just giving me the best angle. So if I'm coming like this, this color sensor will notice that I'm off the table. If I'm coming at it like at this angle, then this one will detect it. So I'm just trying to cover as much area as I can with these two color sensors. And then obviously I have my ultrasonic here in the front because where I had it before, if I had it back here, then it picks up all of this and it will just you know, set off the program when I don't want it to, um, I just want it to see the cups and not anything in front over here. And so that's the robot right there. So I'm hoping to push off the cups either with in, in between here or with the actual ultrasonic. So there's a pretty big um, surface area here or um, just a lot of area to knock off the cups. And that's it, that's all I'm using. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the program so that this robot can push off these cups. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Lego Mindstorm software here. It's already pre-built, so I will just show you what I did. I used two loop blocks, and if I somehow could have done this a lot easier, I'm sure somebody will let me know, but I used two loop blocks because I was using two different color sensors. So if you can see here, I had a color sensor plugged into three and I had another one plugged into two. So here's what you're gonna see when I show you this with the real robot. Here's the program. Once I start the program, the robot will spin and I want it to be a low uh, motor speed so I can give the color, I'm sorry, the ultrasonic sensor, I give it a chance to actually see something because if I spin too fast, then you know it's kind of like when you're in your parent's car and you're trying to see something and somebody goes hey look at that and you're going so fast you don't even see it so um, then the ultrasonic sensor if it sees something less than 30 centimeters away it will activate a forward and i just have it turned on so that you know if it needs to push the cup all the way to the edge and off the edge it will just keep going and then i have my color sensor kicking in here I'll show you why I need two color sensors in a second. 
and if the color sensor detects no color which means i'm going to be on a, a white table so if it senses no color it will activate um, the reason i added this forward in here was because the robot needed to go a little farther forward to knock the cup off i was noticing that it wasn't going far enough so that's what that forwards for and then it will back up for three seconds and then I do a little, I want to do a little spin so I, the robot doesn't get stuck in going forward, backwards, forwards, backwards, because um, I had practiced this program before and it was just backing up and it was seeing that same cup over here and it was just going, it was just stuck in a forward, backwards, forward. So I wanted it to spin just so that it could actually get into a different angle. So this program down here at the bottom is the same exact program except I put in a different weight block here and I plug that into port 2 um, because I have that second color sensor. So I'll show you why I needed two uh, when I show you the robot. Now that you've seen the program, let's go ahead and take the robot and five cups and see if this robot can use that program to knock cups off the table. Okay, now that we have the robot program, let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, didn't take long for it to notice that cup. Okay, one left. Very nice. Let's try it again with a different cup configuration. Okay, I put the cups this way. Let's try it again. While I had the robot and I attached a medium motor, I thought, hey, why not try some trick shots with my robot and some cups? So check these out. Yes. Okay, guys, so for those of you that are doing VEX VR, and doing Castle Crasher, this would be an awesome you know, thing to show your students that, hey, regular EV3 robots can do the same thing. You know, if you utilize the right sensors and know how to utilize the program, it's really cool to be able to make that connection with virtual robots and actual robots. So it's just a neat thing that I thought you guys might wanna see. 
So you can, you know, turn this into a competition or you can just turn it into a project where the students have to be able to figure out that program. Okay, guys, so um, thank you so much for watching. If you tune in next week, we have the continuation of Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics World Race Competition. So Mission 3 will be coming at you next week. And hopefully you just have a great weekend. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.